Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a rhombus giving the length of one of its sides L and one of its angles alpha, which can be seen here on the top of the screen. So the first step on the bottom of the screen, we draw a horizontal line. And then we mark it a point A on the left hand side, as can be seen here. So the next step, we are going to transport the angle alpha onto the horizontal line, starting at point A, using the compass method. So to do this, setting our compass on the vertex of the given angle alpha, and setting the compass to a random radius, the larger the radius, the more accurate you will be, we scribe an arc cutting the adjacent sides at two new points, which we will call 1 and 2, as can be seen here. And now, with the same radius and setting your compass on point A, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the horizontal line and we get a new point 3. So now, setting the compass on point 1 of the given angle and setting the radius to the length 1, 2, we are going to transport this distance onto the previously drawn arc. So setting the compass on point 3, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn arc at a new point, which we will call point 4. And now the final step with our ruler is to join point A to point 4 and elongate the line as can be seen here. So now we have transported the same angle alpha using the compass. You can also do this directly with a protractor if you know the value of the angle. So to continue, now we set our compass to the length of the given side L and we are going to transport this length by setting our compass on the point A. We are describing an arc, getting two new vertices of the rhombus that we want to draw. When we scribe the arc, we got our first vertex on the horizontal line and the second vertex on the elongated line that we drew, B and C. B and D. So now with the same radius, setting our compass on vertex B, we scribe an arc to the left, as can be seen here. And finally, with the same radius again, setting our compass on vertex D, we scribe an arc to the right, cutting our previously drawn arc at our fourth and final vertex, which we will call C. So finally now, with a thicker line and a ruler, we will join the vertices A to D. B to C, which is parallel. And finally, the last two sides. D to C. And A to B. So here we have a rhombus with a given length L and a given angle alpha. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you until the next video. Bye bye.